I'd like to tell you a story from the Old Testament. It's about a man called Moses, and you can find it right at the beginning of the Old Testament in the book of Exodus, which is the second book of the Bible. Now, a new pharaoh um, became sort of king over Egypt, and this pharaoh didn't know Joseph. Now, Joseph had been second in command of Egypt and had prevented the Egyptians from starving during seven years of famine. And he and his whole family had started living in Egypt. And Joseph's dad was called Israel, and so the family were called Israelites. But the new king said that all the Israelites were becoming too many, too numerous, and that scared him. He didn't want the Israelites to outnumber the Egyptians. So he made the Israelites do hard labour. But the more horrible that he was to the Israelites, the more they grew in number. They were having lots and lots of babies. So the king became even more horrible. And he said that they should drown all the male babies that were born, but let the female babies survive. Now, there was an Israelite woman who gave birth to a baby boy. And she tried to hide him because she didn't want him to be killed. But when he became louder, she could hide him no longer. And so she got a wicked basket and covered it with tar. Then she put the baby into it and set it among the reeds by the bank of the Nile. And the baby's sister watched to see what would happen to him. Now Pharaoh's daughter came down to the Nile and she discovered the baby in the basket and fell in love with him. And then the baby's sister who was watching asked Pharaoh's daughter if she would like her to find a woman who could take, after the, take care of the baby. And Pharaoh's daughter said yes. So the baby's sister ran to get her mum, who was also the baby's mum. So then Pharaoh's daughter said to the baby's mother, take this child and nurse him for me and I will give you your wages. So the woman took the child and nursed him. The child grew and she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter and he became her son. And Pharaoh's daughter named him Moses. This is a terrible story in many ways. Things had changed very suddenly with a new pharaoh coming. I wonder whether you've ever experienced this. Perhaps all's going well and then you get a new teacher that you don't like or a bully starts bullying you at school or you get a new boss at work and everything changes. It is hard. You can survive for a little while but then your confidence is eroded and you start to feel sad all the time. You wish things could go back to the way they were beforehand. I was like that as a child. We kept moving. I found it difficult to make friends. And when I did make friends, we moved again. I used to sit in class at school and daydream, looking through the window, wishing I could go back to the old place. I think it is a bit like that for us all just now. With coronavirus, everything has changed. We can't do the things we used to do. Perhaps we've been okay until now, but it's becoming too much. We're daydreaming of a time when we didn't have this problem to cope with. Perhaps we're feeling sad. I'm feeling sad quite a bit at the moment. And with all the horrible things that were happening to the Israelites, it must have been hard to remember that they were God's people and that God loved them. And perhaps that's true for us too. But in the middle of this horrible story, there's a little miracle. A child that Pharaoh said must die is adopted by Pharaoh's daughter and his mum is paid to feed him and look after him until he's old enough to be adopted by her. Moses's mum must have been beside herself with amazement. This baby will grow up and set all of the Israelites free from the Egyptians. But before that, 
he will be fed and educated and looked after and he will be treated like a prince by the Egyptians. It is truly amazing. So even in these dark times, let us not give up hope that God is with us. And let us remember that God has a plan for us. Right now, we may not be able to see it, but God promises to have good plans for us. One of my favourite verses in the Bible is Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Let us always remember this. Amen.